Next what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to solve exponential equations by using logarithms. So this is the inverse uh, concept that we were talking about. And I actually showed you that in the last couple examples. But uh, now we can't use uh, the like basis problem because you know here we have 4 to the x power. Unfortunately we can't write 15 as 4 to some power at least not using a rational uh, exponent. So uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find an alternate method to do this. So we'll say, well, I'm trying to solve for x. Right now it's the exponent of 4. I can't solve for it as an exponent. So I need to get it out of the exponent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log base 4 of both sides. The reason I chose the log base 4 is because, of course, that is the inverse operation of 4 to the x power. So over here, these two things will cancel and leave me x is equal to the log base 4 of 15. Now what we can do is we can find the answer for that by using the uh, change of base formula. So I'm going to do it as a ratio of common logarithms first. So log of 15 divided by the log of 4. And I'm going to get my calculator. I need to turn it back on. Oops, I forgot my 4. So log of 15. Log of 15 divided by the log of 4. And hopefully you see I'm going to round it to three decimal places. So I'll do 1.953. One decimal nine five three. Forgot my four there. So uh, that's basically one example of how we can uh, come up with that nice little number. And we'll look at another example. Now again, same type issue where uh, ten to some power will be one thousand uh, one hundred twenty thousand. So unfortunately, it's not perfect. So we can't just look at it and tell. So this time, I'm going to take the log of both sides. The reason I choose the log is because the base is 10. And then over here, the log and the uh, and 10 to the x power will cancel. So I'll get x is equal to the log of 120,000. Good news about that is I don't have to use the change of base formula because we can type that one into our calculator. So I'll just bring back up our calculator and we'll type in the log of 120. And we get 5.079. Let me try. I was going to write through that decimal, but I missed it. Just make sure that's what I wanted to write. Yep. So that's uh, solving exponential equations using logarithms.